Hello YouTubers. So today I decided that we were going to do something a little bit different and um, I was going to go over with you guys um, some of my coolest sales um, that we have had over the past uh, 90 days. Let's get started. Uh, so anyway, these are going to be sales that have happened over the last 90 days and we're all uh, really good buys picked up at either uh, garage sales thrifting goodwill so anyway i will have the prices uh, i will tell you the prices and then what it's sold for uh, i'll have it somewhere on the screen so be sure and check that out also too if you want to check out my ebay store it's going to be in the description okay let's get started okay so First up, we have a Death Note shirt. For those of you who don't know what Death Note is, Death Note was an anime. Anime is kind of like a cartoon, right? Like a Japanese cartoon. And anyway, this Death Note shirt we bought for $2, and it sold for $76 plus shipping. Score. Next is going to be um, this set of dishes that my husband found. I picked them up because we were just on a roll for a couple of weeks, picking up some really, really vintage 50s and 60s, um, even some, some uh, 50s, 60s, and 70s glasses, stoneware, cooking wear, all that kind of stuff. And he happened to find these and they um, had butterflies on them. They were really, really pretty. This vintage stoneware with the butterflies, we picked them up for $2 a piece and then uh, we were able to sell them for $59.95 and plus shipping. I honestly was shocked um, at that price uh, just because, I mean, they're really cool, but you know, they're vintage, they're old, but I guess nothing works kind of like the old stuff, you know, it just lasts forever. So anyway, somebody got a really good deal on some really pretty pans. Then we happened to go to the local Goodwill and I just happened to see these really really cool um, like 50s um, plates they had like starbursts on them and like little um, oasis they were blue and white they were really really pretty kind of retro -y. so I told my husband I said I've got to pick these up they're really cool he was like are you sure I said yeah they're 69 cents a piece so of course I'm gonna pick them up <laughs> anyway we picked them up there are five plates and so 69 cents each plate we sold those suckers for $79.99 plus shipping. The buyer paid shipping. I was shocked. The buyer got them. She loved them. I'm happy they're happy. Hey, it was a good day for everybody that day. Next, we are going to talk about Ray Dunn. So this is something that I didn't know, and maybe this will be something that you didn't know either. Ray Dunn, the newer stuff says Ray Dunn, but the like the the vintage stuff not vintage but the first time that she came out with her products they were called magenta I did not know this and we were at a Goodwill and we passed up all these magenta cups and we happened to just stumble and got one of them in our cart then we didn't realize that we had it in our cart and so anyway we picked it up paid 69 cents for it and online got it listed and lo and behold we get a bid and sell it for $55 and um, 95 cents um, the buyer pays shipping so um, anyway we were just really really shocked that um, we didn't know this so if you didn't know that anytime you see magenta uh, with the Ray Dunn that is um, actually worth more than the regular Ray Dunn so keep that in mind that is a bolo next is gonna be this amber um, ombre glass owl that we picked up it was six dollars and 99 cents I believe and I saw it I grabbed it and I just couldn't believe that it was only six dollars and 99 cents extremely beautiful really big I mean it was it was really big and um, so it took a big box to ship but I paid six ninety nine for it and it sold for fifty dollars and that was a uh, $50 and then the the buyer paid for the shipping. So next is going to be um, a Radio Shack find that we found at a local uh, thrift store. And when I saw it, it just kind of piqued my interest because it was still in the box. And when I opened it up, it was like mint condition. Like mint, mint, mint. Like it had never been out of the box. We were only asking $6.99 for it, snagged it, brought it home, and put it on for auction. And it sold for... Um, hundred and seventy eight dollars and forty nine cents and the buyer paid shipping that was just 
that that kind of gave me the eBay bug, right? And with that, I was like, oh, you know, what's the next find? What's the next find? So now whenever I go out, I feel kind of like a treasure hunter. I know I say that a lot, but it's true. I kind of feel like a treasure hunter. Like every time I go out, you know, what's the new little treasure that I'm going to find and be able to offer to my customers? Because that's how, kind of how I feel. You know, I kind of feel like they're my customers and I'm trying to, you know, impress them. I know that's not really the case, but that's just how I view it. <laughs> anyway, so it is going to be the livestock hat. So my husband picked up this livestock hat and he paid a dollar for this hat. And kind of researching hats and learning a little bit about them and the snapbacks and what are the ones to be looking for. Anyway, he picked this one up for a dollar, put it on auction, and it sold for $49.95. Um, the buyer paying for shipping just works. I know that not every eBay, eBay seller does that, but I do. Um, um, if the if the price is right, they're willing to pay for that shipping. So that's just my my logic. <laughs> it probably doesn't make sense to anybody else but me, but there it is. Okay, so the next is going to be um, a mint, and I say mint. I mean mint, mint, mint. Dr. Seuss um, 75th anniversary book that was picked up for $10. And this book, uh, put it on auction, got a offer for 200 and sold it. <laughs> anyway, I was super pumped about this. They were really happy and I'm happy that I got um, read the book. Books are kind of tricky and once you start doing them, you'll kind of understand why. Sometimes whenever you're uh, doing books, you'll think that you have a really, really great find, but the condition of the book, oh, it just, it just breaks your heart because it has so much to do with the price, right? So like I have a book and um, I've seen it online and it's like $275, but because mine has some writing and stuff in it and a couple of staining around the edges, it just totally plummets the, the value. And so I can list it, but I'm not gonna get that top dollar for it. I'm not even gonna get middle range. I'm gonna get low because of the condition of the book. So do keep that in mind. Next is gonna be this vintage Mexican straw hat. It is a sombrero de Palma de Jalisco. And um, the hat itself was huge. I mean, like it was huge, right? And I was worried about how I was gonna ship this thing because it was ginormous. But I was like, I'm not gonna worry about it. It'll, it'll, it'll show up, and plus, I'll put it in big giant box, and it'll get there all safe and sound. I paid $5.99 for the hat, and it sold for $75, and they paid for shipping. And I want to say shipping was like $36, but they didn't even bat an eye at it, at it as these particular sombrero hats go for like $150 to $200. So the guy was super happy. I was happy. Everybody was happy. It was a great day. Next. The Merry Mushrooms. The Merry Mushrooms. Okay, anytime you see mushrooms, anything that's kind of retro or vintage, um, most of that stuff comes from Sears, like the old timey Sears. So it is considered vintage and it is very sought after. I saw this Merry Mushroom. It's like a, I think they're called Travitines, but you like put soup in it, it has a ladle and everything. It has a real cute mushroom on it. Saw it. They were asking $5.99 for it. I thought, oh, that's a good deal. Even though, and here is, and here's where the, the rules of eBay sometimes will fluctuate and it depends on how sought after the item is. The ladle had been broken, okay? It had been broken and somebody had fixed it, but they had repaired it really well, okay? So like, even though it had been broken, they fixed it to where it was just like a line, you know, that you could see where it had been fixed, but it wasn't like yucky or gunky or, you know, sticking up, it was smooth. Probably one of the best men's, uh, especially in ceramics that I've seen doing this. So I was thinking, oh, well, you know, I'll pick it up for $5.99, maybe I'll get, you know, $25 for it. No, <laughs> must have been really sought after because that um, pot and the ladle sold for $58 and they paid for shipping. <laughs> I was shocked, shocked. But again, you never know. You never know. It just depends on how sought after a particular item is. If they, if it's a really, really sought after item, they're going to pay more for it just because it's harder to find. Just like the Death Note shirt at the beginning. There was no other Death Note shirts that looked like that one. And so I think that's why I got a higher price for it was because it was the only one online that that was that 
particular uh, style. So anyway, keep that in mind too. Just because you can't find your particular item on eBay doesn't mean that it's not worth something. It actually could mean that it's actually worth a little more. So do keep that in your little noggin whenever you're out shopping and price comparing. Honorable mention. Okay, so he had picked up these laser discs, and we have like several of them, and I have a bunch of them in my eBay store, like Vacation, and um, what's that one with the banjos? It's real creepy. <laughs> Did ding, 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 you know what that is? Anyway, I can't think of it. I know what it is, and I'll think of it as soon as the video is over. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So we have a bunch of these laser discs. We pick them up uh, for like a dollar a piece. My husband listed them all, and within probably 10 minutes of him putting them online, he got a bid for the very first one. And not a bid, sorry, an offer. He got an offer. He listed them, I think, for like $9 or $7.99, and he got an offer for $25.00. And it was the Friday the 13th laser disc. And that's an honorable mention. Number one, because it's a super cool item. And I had never even heard or seen laser disc. I guess it must have been like all the rage in the 80s. But anyway, so I was like, what? What are these? Are these like records? Because they're huge. They're bigger than records. They're giant. But it looks like a big giant DVD. It's huge. I mean, it has a case. That's honorable mention just because it's really cool and because um, it actually hits on multiple fronts. So you would get um, somebody interested, of course, because it's a laser disc. Then you would get somebody interested um, because it's part of the 80s culture. And then you'd get your third whammy, <laughs> which would be um, horror fans. And so that, I'm guessing, became a really, really hot um, item. And my husband just jumped at it. He was like, you know, I only have a dollar in and somebody's willing to pay 25 plus shipping. Sold. <laughs> So it for uh, for today. Uh, I just wanted to share uh, some of my uh, honorable mentions and of course uh, some of the top sales that I've had in the last 90 days. eBay just kind of swooped in and it's a lot of fun. I'm having a, a blast. Um, it has those little hiccups sometimes but for the most part it's a lot of fun. I enjoy listing. I enjoy uh, looking for all the treasures. I, I enjoy going and searching and hunting and um, and then making deals uh, with with customers and buyers. So Anyway, if you enjoy this kind of content, please like and subscribe. If you would, please leave me a comment if, um, if you have uh, any kind of tips or tricks or ideas of something new that I should try. Um, make sure that you put them in the comments. Bye.